Hello, it is Mac here, and today I'm going to about the compact rifle in GTA Online. Now, there's an episode in my series called GTA 5 Gun Guide, where we'll be going through all the weapons of GTA 5 and GTA Online, breaking down stats of these weapons, talking about these weapons, and just giving general reviews of these weapons. So, the compact rifle is a weapon added in the Lowriders Part 2 DLC, or Lowriders Classic DLC, and it is a new assault rifle in GTA Online manufactured by Shrewsbury. Now, a compact rifle can be bought in GTA Online once you have installed the DLC for about $14,000. And it's based off of the AKS-74U. Now, the weapon deals a damage of 34, so that means that it'll take from 7 to 10 shots to kill other players from full health. Now, if they're below rank 20, it will take 7 shots. If they're below rank 40, it will take 8 shots. If they're below rank 80, it will take 9 shots, and if they're after rank 80, it will take 10 shots. So, the damage of 34, that's the same as the advanced rifle, a little bit higher by 2 uh, compared to the uh, bullpup rifle, the carbine rifle, and the special carbine. And it's 4 uh, damage uh, higher than the assault rifle. The weapon also has a spread of 3.50 which is the same as the assault rifle, and a time between shots of 0.158, which is the same as the assault rifle. Uh, the range damage falloff is also from 47.5 meters to 120 meters. So the best way to describe this weapon would be, take the assault rifle, put four extra damage on it, and that's what you get with this weapon. It's pretty much the exact same in every way aside from that higher damage. Now the weapon also has a mag size of 30 rounds with 60 with extended mags and that's you know kind of just average for the assault rifles. Every assault rifle has that same you know mag size and this weapon also doesn't have any attachments aside from the extended mag so I mean I would recommend the extended mag because there's not really any other attachments for this weapon and while that is kind of a bad thing at, at the same time even though it doesn't have a scope the iron sights are already pretty good. Some of the best iron sights in the actual game, in my opinion. You know, they're just very, very nice. I don't I don't really find a problem with them. Overall, this weapon is basically just an assault rifle with a little bit higher damage. And that damage won't exactly come into play too much. Sure, maybe in some situations it may take, you know, one extra shot to kill an enemy than it would if, like, an assault rifle or carbine rifle, but really, it's not the gonna, it's not, you're not gonna notice it that often, and honestly, it's kind of just there, you know, it's not that big of a deal. And that's kind of all I can say about this weapon. Really, like, it, it, there's not much to talk about because it's basically just an assault rifle with a little bit higher damage that you're not gonna notice, so... Would I recommend this weapon? Not exactly, because if you already have an assault rifle, you're not going to begin really anything with this weapon that's new. And also, that damage is already on the advanced rifle, so I'd suggest just use the advanced rifle, because the advanced rifle already has the same damage. It has a higher rate of fire, by quite a bit actually, and it also has a better spread, so it has a better accuracy, a better rate of fire, and the same damage. So I would just say, go with the advanced rifle. It's still the best assault rifle in the game, and while this weapon may be good for new players, I, I guess, even then, you know, you're still, what's the trade-off? You're, you know, if you compare the bullpup rifle, special carbine, and the compact rifle, if you look at those weapons from a new player's perspective, you're getting the accuracy weapon with the special carbine, you're getting the high rate of fire weapon with the bullpup rifle, and in this you have a slightly higher damage that you won't even notice and the trade-off is a lower rate of fire and a pretty uh, a worse accuracy so I, I can't really see why you would want to use this weapon aside from it can be used on vehicles it can be used on bikes aside from the fact that it can be used on bikes that's not really like sure that's cool but that's not really something you're gonna notice too much unless you do use bikes now if you do use bikes I would recommend this weapon uh, for that because it's actually very good on bikes compared to like the SMGs and stuff or the pistols So yeah, I would recommend that but other than that well, You know if you don't use bikes at all I would not recommend this weapon pretty much in any way even if you're on a new account I still wouldn't recommend this weapon because you're not gaining much You know you're getting a pretty terrible rate of fire you're getting a pretty terrible um, You know pretty terrible accuracy and you're not really gaining much with the damage compared to, say, a special carbine 
or a bullpup rifle, which the Special Carbine not only has a higher rate of fire, but it also has a better accuracy, and it's just two lower damage, you know, so just two um, damage points. And that's all, that, that's what you're getting with that weapon. So, I would not recommend this weapon for really anyone, and that's kind of just a problem with this weapon, and it kind of sucks, because it's been a long time since we got a new assault rifle in GT Online. But unless you do use bikes, that's the only reason I could see anybody using this weapon. Because it's just, it's not that great, and you, you, you're you not really getting much with this weapon, so I would not recommend this weapon for really anyone. But anyways, let me your thoughts on this in the comments. Also, if you want to go check out any other episodes in this series, or if you want to go check out any other stats on, you know, this weapon and where I got these stats for this weapon, there will be links in the description. But anyways, let me your thoughts on this in the comments. Hope you enjoy. Feedback is so appreciated. I'll see you guys in the next video.